really be up there on the podium again, doesn't he? Yeah, he was hunting that podium down at the end of the race there, and I think that he he lost out a little bit of ground on the first lap, but then his recovery through the race was you know was very very strong, and uh, he just qualified out of position. And I think had he qualified in position, he would have been he would have been there today. So uh, I think he can take you know positives out of his recovery today. By the way, did you just notice when those soft tyres went past, the warmth emanating from them? It's like a sauna going past. That's crazy. Um, Christian, you were just saying he did a good race, but I thought he had quite a lack of performance, especially in the early, early part of the race. Isn't that, isn't that true? I mean, really comparing to Max, there was some laps where it was quite a, quite a gap. Yeah, but you're quite a critical kind of guy, He's though, tough. aren't you? I mean, you're tough on these <laughs> tough guys. Judge. I mean, just now you're not in the car, you, you know, you're, you're happy to criticize all the guys. But uh, I think that you know, he lost out in the early laps, and uh, he didn't have a great start. George, you know, managed to, to get away uh, running off track, getting on track, not getting any any penalty from that. And uh, I think that was the difference at the end of the day. And, um, you know, Checo, his race was getting stronger and stronger. And that last stint in particular, he was really coming back very strong, but uh, just not enough laps to fight for the podium. Well, we've just been talking about how monumental that performance was from Max. Checo obviously not having quite as much of a good day do you think Checo is going to have what it takes to, you know, bring this title battle to Max this season? Because he looks really unstoppable at the moment in that Red Bull. I think if you look at the points now, I and mean, there's a big split between the two of them, I think if anything, that should take pressure off him. You know, he has nothing to lose now, and I think he just needs to uh, relax. You know, he can can breathe out and, and and just drive like we know he's capable of, like he did in Azerbaijan and some of the, the early races this year. And I think today you know, was a, a good recovery from him. And I think that'll give him confidence as we head to uh, to Montreal. He was saying there that he's feeling confident, but he doesn't seem so upbeat. Do you think he's got it? Has he got it, though? Has he got it? Yeah, look, I, look, I mean, being Max Verstappen's teammate, take nothing away. There is not a driver out there today, I believe, that would have beaten Max in that car today. So, you know, he's at a, up against a driver that is at the top of his form. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's very tough. I mean, as you know, you experience that as well at certain times. And I think that, that you know, Checo, you know, mentally, it's a, a really tough thing to deal with. But as I say, I think now there is that separation in the points that may actually take the pressure off him a little and the expectation he's putting on himself. You know, he needs to let go of that now and just, you know, be free to drive. And aside from the intra-team battle, the competition from elsewhere, were you surprised that it, the performance levels weren't higher from Aston Martin, Ferrari? Well, the form's moving around. I mean, you look at Nalando's lap yesterday, the Mercedes looked strong in the race today. Um, the Ferraris you know, didn't have the pace that we thought that they might. So it, the, the form behind us does seem to be you know, moving around quite a lot at the moment. So, uh, so, so yeah, it's difficult to predict who's going to be where at, at which event. Did the Mercedes form even maybe worry you a little bit? I mean, they made such a giant leap and they're opening this new concept path. What were your thoughts there? It was still 23 seconds behind at the end of the race. So, um, so fair play. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, they made a good step. And, uh, but I think that, uh, you know, we've got some, some stuff in the pipeline. They've had a big upgrade. Uh, we've got some bits, you know, uh, coming later into the season. So, uh, but look, for sure, a big step. They're a quality team and for sure they're going to be putting us under pressure in, in the second half of the year. What about Max there? Yeah, your, your team tells him, Max, uh, we've got everything under control, let's take it easy. And he does the 100% opposite. He goes <laughs> maximum attack, yeah. qualifying lap, and let's burn the time down. Like, what was, what was going well, on he, here? He and his engineer, they've got a, a, a relationship like an old married couple, and uh, <laughs> you can hear them talking over the radio. It's almost like arguing, you know, which channel should we watch, you know? <laughs> and uh, having had three strikes, you know, the next one is a time penalty. And with a, if there was a safety car, something like that, you know, that could have been extremely painful. So the engineer is trying to manage Max to say, look, don't take any risk, you know, just bring it home, keep it in the lines. Um, and Max, I think he wasn't aware he was exceeding the limits. And so he just wanted that, that <coughs> extra point for the fastest lap. As a boss, are you going to still sit down with him and have a word about that? Or are you just going to let it be? Well, look, I think, you know, he's in the car. He knows, of course, we'll talk about it. And I think, in a situation where there was more to lose than that. Of course, we talk about it very firmly, but uh, you know, all we can do is pass him on the information. What he chooses to do with that information, he's in control of. So when you go away from a couple of events like this where you guys are clearly dominating, the car is clearly the quickest. What are your concerns going forward? What, what is it that you look at? What is it that you want to repair or make better? Well, you're always learning. I mean, we've learned from that race. You know, did we start the race on the right tires? Was a soft tire a better tire 
for the first sin. So that's one of the lessons to take away and, and for us to analyze. Um, and, you know, where can we be better with a car? And I think we're just taking things one weekend at a time, one session at a time, and, and not projecting too far, you know, too far ahead. So, uh, yeah, still a lot of lessons to take out of this weekend. But just for a moment, do look forward to Canada for us. Is this a sort of circuit, because we're always hearing that he's the king of the streets, is this a sort of place in Montreal where Checo can come back into play? Well, Canada's a, a unique circuit. It's always great racing there, and I think that uh, it's a different challenge. It's, you know, a lot of low-speed stuff, a couple of high-speed chicanes, but, um, you know, Checo's run well there before, you know, as has, as has Max, and I think that, you know, the weather can always be a factor there as well. But, you know, we're heading there on 99 victories now. So, um, you know, there's a, a determination to try and get the century, you know, at the next one. Will you give yourself a night off? Put your feet up? <laughs> what, tonight? Yeah. No, it's straight straight home, school run in the morning and then straight into work. Exactly what I want to hear. Thank you very much. Very well good. done today. Thank you very good much. Good stuff. OK, let's talk. Thank you. Let's talk about...